It is finally time. It is time to listen to the faint meowing coming from within the shadows of the forest. It is time to listen to the absolutely dozens and dozens and hundreds of comments and requests for a return to our warrior cat stories. And it is finally time to go ahead and return to Warrior Cats Clan Generator, the amazing fan-made game that has so, so, so much love behind it and has actually changed tremendously since we were last here with Sun Moss Clan, whose name still makes me feel a little embarrassed, to be honest. <laughs> Sun Moss Clan? Come on, what a mouthful. But to be honest, their stories were amazing. And my friends, I thought long and hard about it. And one day we might return to Sun Moss Clan. But with the new and amazing updates that have really significantly changed Clan Generator, I thought it was time to go ahead and allow the rise of a new hero. A new hero whose soul all of you are quite familiar with, actually. And I think that you would approve of the new clan and the birth of a new leader who finally has earned her right, no doubt after being part of Star Clan for many generations, <laughs> to return into a new life and to go ahead and create for herself a story of her own and a clan using some of the wisdom that she gathered for those many, many, many years that she spent sitting inside of the Elder's Den basically chewing everybody out. <laughs> so, all right, guys, welcome, welcome back. I am very excited. Like I said, we're gonna be diving back into Clan Generator. We are going to be making a new clan because so much has changed, including me, but you guys probably know that from all of the update vlogs that I have done over the last few months. And uh, it just feels great to have a fresh start. And I actually felt called back by this particular cat, who we are about to create a whole new clan for, more so than any of the other cats that I have ever really had in our Warrior Cats adventures. And yeah, the game has really changed. The community behind it is fantastic, and I have gotten so many fun hints about the updates from our amazing patrons on our Patreon Discord who are huge Warrior Cats fans and have a lot to say about it. Uh, but I haven't actually played it yet, like myself, and I'm not using any of my custom random generators today because so much has changed. I thought it might be fun just to go ahead and at least have one set of adventures where we could come in and we could see like what's going on with all of the new features and we could go ahead and welcome in a brand new clan leader. So all right, let's do this. <laughs> So let's see, classic mode. This mode, is, uh, this mode is clan generator at its most basic. The player will not be expected to manage the minutia of clan life. Perfect, perfect for a relaxing game session or for focusing on storytelling. With this mode, you are the eye in the sky, watching the clan as their stories unfold. Okay, that sounds very interesting. I can't, I don't think these modes were new last time. Yay, I get to use my Swiss cheese memory to basically <laughs> be surprised by everything. So this is just gonna be delightful for me at least. Expanded mode, a more hands-on experience. This mode has everything in classic mode as well as management-focused features. New features include illnesses, injuries, and permanent conditions, herb gathering and treatment, ability to choose patrol type. With this mode, you'll be making important clan life decisions. Yeah, I think you guys know where we're gonna go. <laughs> That's so cool because we had the custom illness and the custom herb gathering um events that we actually made generators for and it was so exciting and i think we even had like the effects from going on patrol that was one of our custom generators too like if something bad happened again we're gonna put all the custom generators to the side because obviously with the new way that the the whole game works we're probably gonna want to freshen them up and write some new ones but also like that's really exciting one less thing we have to roll for, friends. I'm totally all about this. And then finally, there is Cruel Season coming soon. This mode has all the features of Expanded Mode, but is significantly more difficult. If you'd like a challenge with a bit of brutality, then this mode is for you. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go with Expanded Mode because I, I, I don't know if I can handle Cruel Season right now, especially not with the new cat that I want to welcome into the world. <gasps> this is cool. Look at the art. Oh my gosh, it's really changed a lot. All right, uh, well, let's go ahead and we are going to name our clan. And I really thought long and hard about this. And even though 
This is going to sound really silly. It was a very serious decision made by a young cat reborn into her new life who really felt that she had a duty to let all of the other clans know what she was after. You see, maybe a lot of these clan disputes are actually caused by cats not really knowing like what they want. So one clan wants to eat a whole bunch of rabbits and so does the other and they start fighting about it. And so this particular new leader thought she's just going to, to set the tone from the beginning. She is going to let everyone know what she and her clanmates are after, what she considers to be the most superior source of, of deliciousness and also very soft fur. And basically is the thing that she will claw your ear off if you try to take from her. And that, my friend, is squirrels. This is squirrel clan. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm being that silly. But don't tell her that, you know, this is silly because, again, she'll claw your ears off. Ahem. But welcome to a squirrel clan. So we're going to pick a leader to lead our clan through any obstacle. Uh, and we're going to have to keep going until I find someone who looks somewhat like the cat I am thinking of. And I really hope I can go ahead and like maybe rename some of these cats. Pretty sure I can. Pretty sure I can. Uh, but let's roll again. I have to wait because what I'm really looking for is a certain pattern. Trust me. Oh, whoa, you can only re-roll so many times? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's really cool. And look at all these cats. Wow. Oh, there's so many new patterns. I don't think I ever saw that beautiful tail type before. Gosh, I would pick these guys. Um. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you can only pick from so many. Oh my gosh, Squirrel Clan. Squirrel Clan. Um... Okay, hang on one second. <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna have to roll with this. We're gonna have to roll with this because this is way too cool. <laughs> Even though it does not look like her from her previous life, I actually, my jaw dropped as I continued to randomize these clans. You guys, the work and the amazing detail done on the designs for all of these cats is just absolutely stealing my heart. I love this and you know, <clears throat> totally not because I fell in love with all of the amazing looking cats that are in this particular lineup of the clan um, and totally because she was just, you know, reborn with a different look. We're going to go ahead and we are going to select this leader for Squirrel Clan and grant her the special nine lives. If you guys know what her actual name, it's not going to be Podstar, by the way, from Podmark, which is definitely a unique and fun name <clears throat> uh but uh if you guys know what her actual name is going to be once i can maybe wiggle my way into the uh, save files and edit them a little bit then you know put a guess down there because i think i actually you guys will probably know i'm probably gonna give it away in the title because i'm just so excited but all right guys so this is actually going to be the reborn young female adult a very fierce chestnut star Yes, my friends, that sassy, vengeful elder just couldn't let go of her grudge against life. And she decided she wasn't going to go fade into the distance. Oh, no, no, no. As soon as she could figure out a way to, she was reborn as this amazing, beautiful, just stunning, mixed coated cat who I, I just cannot stop goggling at. She's so beautiful. And she doesn't have a lot of memories of her previous life. But she does have this fierce conviction that she is meant to be a strong leader. A leader who is there to show all of the other cats of her clan what life is all about. Protecting your own patch of forest. Being able to make yourself as extremely comfortable with lots of soft fur lining along your, your nest as possible. And making sure that not a single other cat is going to steal your squirrels. Because where there's squirrels, there's going to be trees. And where there's trees, there's going to be all sorts of birds and bugs and, and lizards scurrying up them and things that you can go ahead and eat. And yes, maybe some foolish cats think that getting wet and dashing about in the water and eating fish is a good idea. But no, not Chestnut. Not Chestnut Star. She knows better. She knows better. You might think, oh, it's silly to, to be obsessed with squirrels to the point where one day you stand amongst your fellows and you declare yourself the leader of Squirrel Clan. 
Uh, but, and you, you know, I mean, you named it freaking Squirrel Clan. Like, I think a few cats would kind of glance at you sideways. It's supposed to be, like, really intense stuff. Like, I don't know, like, Lion Clan, Jagged Clan, freaking, like, Sun Clan or something. Like, pick something d d evocative. And instead, Chestnut Star picks Squirrel Clan. But again, the secret is the insight that where you have squirrels, you will have them burying the seeds for trees. And as the generations pass, she just has this this feeling almost like it's left over from a previous life lived in the stars watching as time passes over the landscape and she can see how having a healthy forest full of squirrels is a huge step forward to having a healthy forest full of nice cool places to relax and plenty of food in wide abundance so that's going to be why chestnut star is going to pick the name squirrel clan and She's also very fierce and determined and, and seems to have this this sense of, of gravitas and this sense of wisdom and seriousness and also just extreme bossiness. <laughs> that means that she did end up becoming the leader of her clan. So let's look at everybody else. Okay, I think I need to go ahead and grant this cat like her nine lives. I just want to take a little peek at everybody else because they're so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, look at Lokit here. Oh, a little charming female. Look at Bloom Coral. What a freaking name. I really hope these cats end up being part of our clan. There's also a little Weed Kit. We have Prance Kit Tail. That's really cool. She's a young adult female who's adventurous. We have Pounce Bush, Autumn Fur, Fro, an adult female who's careful. Look at all the colors. Oh, I'm so excited. We have Dawn Paw, who is a childish adolescent female. We've also got Tangle Spring, what a name, who is another vengeful elder. Bless. I have a feeling that Chestnut Star is going to get along very well with all the vengeful elders. And we have Time Fawn, a senior adult male who's very thoughtful. I wonder if he's actually going to be Chestnut Star's father, we'll say. And Flood Fern. Oh, he's so pretty. Why do you have to be young? Or why do you have to be old and you can't be young and like have a bazillion adorable kittens in my clan, please? But this is Flood Fern, who is a male senior adult who has a lot of empathy for others. So all right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick a uh, Podstar. I don't know if we'll get anybody else, so we'll just have to remember that Time Fawn was um, like Chestnut Star's father. And Tangle Spring was a vengeful elder that she got along really well with, as well as Flood Fern. Those are all just really cool names. Let's grant her the nine lives. Dun dun dun. Choose your deputy. This cat will support their leader and take charge when things go awry. Yes, I think we do get to keep this clan. All right, so we could pick the playful adult male, but I don't know if that's Chestnut Star. You remember, she's kind of serious and fierce and she was very vengeful in a previous life. So I think she wants to make sure that like, I think her vengefulness never came from wanting to be like mean to her clanmates, but she's just extremely fierce and protective of the forest. And maybe she's even haunted by these memories that, that are fragmented and fractured from her previous lives of knowing that if one does not defend and take care of the forest, horrible things happen and the land is changed forever. She probably saw years and years and years and generations and generations of cats grow and prosper and fail to thrive as forests and landscapes and ecosystems rose and fell while she was in Star Clan. And even if she can't make complete sense of all of those memories, I could see how Chestnut Star would just believe that there is something extremely important in having at least the leadership of the clan take things very seriously. So with that said, Autumn Fur is a female adult who is careful. Prance Tail is a young adult who is adventurous. Oh, perfect. I didn't even notice. Pounce Bush, a male young adult who is responsible. Oh, that's perfect. So that's probably going to be the deputy in just a second. Let me double check. Yeah, we have a playful male. We have a young uh male who's bold and he's currently flood pot and adolescent i could see him becoming potentially potentially chestnut stars like apprentice uh prance tail is a young female adult she's kind of adventurous hmm no i think she's adventurous versus responsible 
Autumn fur is careful, but responsible sounds like it fits even more perfectly. Dawnpaw, childish, not even going to become like the apprentice of chestnut stock. Let's not even pretend. All right, so Pouncebush, you are perfect for this role. And then choose your medicine cat. They can communicate with Starclan and take care of the clan. Ooh, okay. Well, actually, I feel like Autumn Fur would be perfect for that in a way because she's a careful cat. However, can we pick Flood Fern? I actually think that Flood Fern wouldn't want to stay in the Elder's Den. And even though he's a senior adult, I feel like he really cares a lot for the other cats of the clan because he has so much empathy for them. So he would probably make a good medicine cat, I hope. And that would free up Autumn for to... She's young, she's spry. And probably like any of the, the fit adults, Chestnut Stock would really... Or excuse me, <clears throat> Chestnut Star would really want to see be part of like the hunting groups. So let's see. And then we have little Lee. Oh, she's bossy. Okay, I could see her like ending up really joining us in the future. And low kit. Oh, bloom coral. Okay, yeah. Let's make Flirt Fern the medicine cat. Recruit four to seven more cats into your clan. Choose wisely. Well, I think we're definitely going to go ahead and have Autumn Fur join us. Because it just seems like she really fits in here. And then we're going to go ahead and have... Well, I'm going to need to be careful because I don't know if we can bring everyone. I kind of really want Tangle Spring because I like the idea that maybe she's friends with um, with our wonderful Chestnut Star. But let's see, Prance Tail, young female adult. Okay, Floodpaw, who's bold, we'll recruit him too. And then I really hope we can recruit like as many cats as possible. <laughs> I'm kind of, I, I, let's go for the adults first. Bloom Coral, who's a playful male, sounds like a great balance to the clan. Prance Tail as an adventurous female. Uh, sounds like she would, like, young adult female. Oh, she sounds like she'd be really good. Oh man, please let me have more cats. Okay. All right. So then, okay, do I want to take Dawn Paw first? Look, we're going to take Tangle Spring first um, because I think that would be a really good fit. And then I feel like we should have Thyme Fawn as well because he's actually, like, a very thoughtful senior adult and he would be chestnut star's father this time around so maybe his thoughtfulness can kind of balance out her vengeful determination to like rule over an entire ecosystem of a forest in fact i could even see her fighting cats of other territories who like have open meadows or open plains and thinking that that's such a waste because a forest has much more life useful life in her opinion uh even though as we know prairies and meadow biomes are some of the most diverse ecosystems in the world and really beautiful in their own way she's She's kind of a squirrel enforcer. Like, I can, I, I, I feel like one of her punishments for the, the, oh my gosh, this is actually really fun. I need to start taking notes again for the, for the role play of this clan. But I could see one of her punishments for young apprentices who don't behave themselves is to bury acorns. They must appreciate what the squirrel must go through to provide the shelter that they bask in in the forest. So that would be so much fun. And Thymphon... I think should go ahead and or time fun should go ahead and he should join us to try to balance her out and speaking of the kittens low kit is charming and weed kit is bossy and i and don paul i'm gonna grab low kit can i get any more oh i can't no okay <laughs> okay so don pond weed kit didn't make it but we have a really good clan, so let's keep going because I don't want to lose them. And then we can choose the forest. Wow! Or having like a little goalie that they live in. <gasps> I really love this. The art has, like this didn't even exist last time we were here with the clan. This is so exciting. Oh, that's perfect for them too. We could also choose the mountains. Which again, I feel like she would completely roll her eyes at. That has, wow, look at the caves. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much fun. We might have to have multiple clans. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would actually like to see us have multiple clans. Because that might be really fun. Especially if my wonderful patrons over on our Patreon Discord can help me figure out like how to edit files. We could have some cats that either they submit, which is something I do want to do uh, in the future. Or some cats from like both clans kind of show up in both of the stories that could be really really interesting um 
wow, mountain with caves or cliffs, the plains, where you could have them living on the grasslands or inside of tunnels. This is so cute. Look at the fossil. This is awesome. <laughs> also, there is the beach with tide pools. Oh, be still my heart. You guys know who this reminds me of, don't you? Branch Clan and our Sims 3 Warrior Cats Adventures. Oh, one day, one day I will throttle Sims 3 and shake it to pieces until all the mods will start working again and I can actually make it function on my very fancy computer that can literally do everything else except that for some reason. Anyway, <clears throat> there's also the tidal cave as well. This is so fun. I kind of feel like we need like multiple clans now and I need to find some way for them to kind of interact somehow. Uh, we'll have to think about that. Like, ooh, maybe we could take a note if like we end up fighting or killing a clan or killing a cat from another clan and then we could use a random generator and maybe some like stats that we kind of have behind the scenes for how healthy different cats are and for how uh, likely they are to be super aggressive. That says that maybe that cat, like maybe a cat from, I don't know, Shell Clan on the beach ends up getting killed by a cat in Forest Clan or maybe a cat from the tunnels who loves digging, ends up becoming a perfect mate for somebody in Squirrel Clan who also loves digging. <laughs> I think that would be perfect. Here we go. Our clan has been created and saved. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The medicine cat den is over here where we have, look at how cool this is. <laughs> where we have a flood of fern in the medicine den. The, his eyes are amber. He's got long fur, no accessories. He's 99 moons old. Oh, please hang in there, old man. He's also, oh, the clan founder. That's really cool. So we're gonna say like, Man, okay, like, okay, clan founder, we're gonna kind of wiggle that around and we're gonna say that he helped to found the clan in the way where he at least validated the chestnut stock or ahem, chestnut star, pardon me. I'm totally going to be changing her name in the save files as soon as I can figure it out. Don't worry, guys. Um, but he's gonna try to figure out like, he, he was the one who validated her claim to being leader because he, it helped to quote unquote found the clan since he's connected to Star Clan. Let's see, relations, roles, personality. Oh, yes, you can change the name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to do anything there. History, look at this. Uh, Floodfern is one of the founding. Oh, I see. So he's one of the founding members, and that's what that means. That's so cool. Uh, this cat either did not have a mentor or their mentor is unknown. Any, oh my gosh, there's conditions now. My job got so much easier. I could just cry. This is amazing. Uh, oh my gosh. And then Podstar, we can change her name. There we go. I don't even have to do that anymore. Done. Done. And it's Chestnut Star. The rise of Chestnut Star is craving the taste of shrew instead of squirrel because right now she must feel that they need to hurry and like plant a bunch of seeds. Also 73 moons is, is it's a Chestnut Star. That's, that's, that's not appreciated. Oh no! <laughs> I hope she doesn't age that quick. And then Pounce Bush wants to go on a hunting patrol. This is so cool. And then you can like see the different roles they have. Oh, look at everybody! Loki is hoping the patrol will come back with a special gift for them as usual. That's so cute. I love how everyone's moving around again too so we can use the generators in the future to, or like where they show up in the future to kind of um indicate like and we're gonna save the clan so we don't lose that name too. To indicate kind of like what they're up to as well. So allegiances, boom. Oh, cat list. Oh, oh my gosh, you can search now. <laughs> and you can find cats outside the clan too. Ah, that's so cool. This is awesome. Wow, okay, okay, I'm getting, no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, gotta be more careful with what I click. That scared the bedoodles out of me. So now there's stats for like different things you can see. Who died? Who's in Star Clan? Who's that? Wow. Look at that backdrop. That's amazing. Wow. So that's Vinefoot. Here to die the, to guide the dead cats of Squirrel Clan to Star Clan. She was an excellent speaker who was a senior adult who lived to 104 moons. She's very pretty Vinefoot, huh? I wonder if that was maybe like Chestnut Star's mom. Maybe. We'll have to we'll have to think about that carefully. Um, let's see, clan. Okay, there we go. 
events. Wow, you can really like see all sorts of details, including in other clans. Oh no, you guys, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot. This is gonna be so fun. I, I, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, okay, deep breath, deep breath, Siri. This is just, this is, this is, this is way too fun. All right, look. Wow. I'm gonna need a, a little bit of a breather for just a minute because this is fantastic. This is fantastic! I need to get my notes back out! Already we have so much lore that we have built with the idea that Squirrel Clan is really dedicated to defending and even expanding perhaps too much the forest and uh, that like punishment for apprentices is to have to dig holes and plant acorns like the squirrel. And that chestnut stock has been reborn as Chestnut Star. I'm gonna take some deep breaths. I'm going to break out all of my Siri-esque notes. And then we are going to dive into some serious adventures next time. So let me know what you think so far, guys. There is clearly so much going on. My head is spinning. I cannot wait to see what happens. And I think for now, just at least for, you know, a few moons, we might go ahead and just see what there is to be offered in all of the amazing updates and the dedicated hard work that has gone into like clan generator before we start adding in on the side a few of our own generators too <sighs> all right guys if you could go ahead and leave a like to toss an acorn over to chestnut star she'll probably approve of you and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands of other adventures including hundreds of warrior cat ones then do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.